Hi guys, it's Wednesday morning, June the 27th, 2018, I think, at 6.31 a.m. And hey, whenever I do the Google thing, Google won't wake up. I unplugged it and plugged it back in, so we'll see. Hey Google. Sorry, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. <laughs> That's all he says, or she says, or it says. So, so much for that. No, no weather from Bangor, Maine, or anywhere else <clears throat> but I do know that it's it's probably in the 70s here mid 70s but anyway somebody sent me a joke book <laughs> it says funny jokes so at random I'll just pick a page open it up and pick a short joke <clears throat> after an intense high-speed chase an officer finally gets the lawbreaker to pull over you know says the cop I was originally pulling you over to tell you your taillight is out. Why the hell did you take off like that? Last week, my wife ran, ran off with a cop, the man said, and I was afraid you were trying to give her back. <laughs> okay. What is the definition of an accountant? Of accountant. Someone who solves a problem you didn't know you had in a way you don't understand. <laughs> a woman is standing looking in the bedroom mirror. She is not happy with what she sees and says to her husband, I feel horrible. I look old, fat, ugly. I really need you to pay me a compliment. The husband replies, Your eyesight is damn near perfect. <laughs> I bet he had spam sandwiches for the next week. Oh, God. Anyway, so uh, without Google, we'll survive. It's cr it's funny how you start to rely on some or things. Artificial intelligence, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a bunch of little crutches that, that we rely on mentally. And then when they're not there, we're going to feel like we can't do it ourselves, just like a lot of other things. Uh, this is Ernesto T. This, uh, all these comments are the next 10 are on the RV home base. Ernesto T says, Wow, awesome. Thank you, Ernesto. Patrick Hawkins says, Looks great. Rusty Hot Limited says, Yeehaw, beer 30. Thank you, Hot Limited. Kitty Land says, Yeah. George H. Reed Jr. I don't get this one. It says G O V E R. I guess that's supposed to be Gover. Gover. 21 days rusty. I don't know what that. I guess he means wait 21 days. I'm parking my RV on there on Friday. Uh, Rick Wilkes, Rusty, you are going to make a platform. Oh, Rusty, are you going to make a platform to use as steps to go in and out of the RV? I did this, and it was a lot more comfortable and secure walking in and out. I'll rig up something. I'm in no hurry. I'll figure it out all by myself. This is Crin Keep. K-R-Y-N-N-K-E-E-P, that's the person's name. The simple things in life sure are the best, or sure are the best. Kicking back on the patio with plenty of privacy is hard to beat. I agree. I like that myself. Anyway, it's just it's just kind of something to do. Durkong, that's the person's name. Only good only in good fun. Next week. I sold the home base, bought a backpack, and will be tent camping across America. <laughs> yeah, you never know about me, do you? No, I actually, I did think about that one time. I was going to walk across part of the United States. Yeah, I even started practicing for it. I'd take long walks for four, five, six hours at a time. No, I was going to do the backpack and stuff and uh no but what blew it was when you walk down a highway even if it's a two-lane country road the traffic comes by and it's so noisy and, and you know these people aren't looking for you walking down the highway but anyway mike cox on the home base looks real good rusty i'm sure we will i'm sh i'm sure will enjoy having the slab are you considering putting some beer 30 rails on the patio all the best no, no rails on the patio in the forecast. Uh, Andrea Wingreen, home sweet home, enjoy. Thank you. Pamela Teehee, looks great, Rusty. 
I see your beautiful rocking chair. I might have to have one of those myself. Your concrete guys did an awesome job. Looks so nice, looking so nice. Nice that your front entry to the cover is perfectly even. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we I shoveled up some dirt there, and so it's just nice and smooth. Vic Vanner or, uh, on the RV home base. I love the sounds of your base camp. So nice. Yeah, it is. It's it's typical country. Uh, in Texas, West Texas. Dill Rogers thought about screening in the small part so you can sit out there without bugs. Also, Rusty, I don't see the police vest that you assured me you were keeping. Uh, it's here somewhere, Dill. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it is. And if I threw it away, so what? Uh, yeah, the, as far as screening it in, I doubt it. We, we don't have that many insects here. I'm not bothered by insects. Every now and then we get a few gnats and rarely mosquitoes, but not often. Uh, Pat, good afternoon, Rusty. Boy, that looks so nice. They did a fantastic job and at a pretty good price. Makes your home base look so much better. Well done. Yeah, I'll tell you what makes it look better. All that junk's gone. Instead of all that space being taken by a three-drawer file, a washing machine, and some other junk, it's gone. And now I've got all that space to just sit and enjoy the view. And when I get ready, to, I'm going to do my washing today. I'll go to the laundromat and stick it in that big old uh, wash machine that has the glass hole in the or fr a glass on the front of it. You know, I don't know what they call them. Anyway, Life Bell, great job, Daryl Mozone. Mozone, it looks great. Does to me too, Daryl. Janice Klein, that box. Oh, this is on the Sunset Classic. That box is a good tripping hazard. I would fall right out on, on my face going out the door. Actually, Janice, I, I like it. I, I think it's a good idea because it allows them to give you a lot of extra space in, in that small RV. PJ Bikerfold, he left a, sun, a, a link to Sunset Trailers. Thank you, PJ Bikerfold. Bill Nolan says, Look, Rusty looks very nice. Two questions. Are you going to keep the AC where it is now or move it to the location where the original AC was installed? Also, did you ever find your walking stick in New Mexico? First question. AC is going to stay where it is right now. Reason is it won't fit in that opening where that 5000 BTU Danby is. Uh, I did find my walking stick in New Mexico. It's a crazy thing. I left it at the grocery store three times in three different places, and every time I went back, they were holding it for me. It's kind of like an old dog. They, they started taking care of him. <clears throat> Sarah J., tis so wonderful, the home base. Thank you. PJ Bikerful left a link to rogersmotorsale.com. Thank you, PJ. So those of you that are interested in small RVs, check it out. They got a lot of them. Billy, awesome, nice and level, and no steps to worry about. Nice job, Rusty. Yeah, it's just, a, but the, there's no transition. I mean, it's just all one slab. I like that. Mechanic 51, very nice, Rusty. Gr great improvement to your home base. Well planned, so, sir. Those brothers did a nice job. Thanks for sharing the progress. Yes, they did. I have a playlist of this uh, series. There's like seven videos in it. It's, uh, it's called RV Home Base Remodeling. And, uh, yeah, you can watch all seven of them if you're ever interested in a concrete project and kind of see what goes on. Road Warrior, well done, Rusty. It looks well polished and practical. It does to me, too. Thank you, Road Warrior. Frank and Lisa Travels looks awesome. Thank you. Uh, Rocky the Rock, OMG, it's beautiful. Wow, I'm so happy for you, Rusty. Arrow has a new home. Watch the top backing in because you're four to six inches higher. So proud and glad the plan worked. Me too. Uh, as far as it being a little higher, it doesn't matter. I've got about two, three feet clearance. <clears throat> Maybe more. Scott Elwood, very nice. Thanks for the ride along on this project. You're very welcome. Uh, CMN1771, did you use any kind of, do you use any kind of sway bar when you're towing <clears throat> your travel trailer? Answer, if it's really windy, I do, but rarely, rarely do I hook up the sway bar because it just, the trailer is so light that it tows fine, and I don't tow fast, 55 miles an hour, and I'm good to go. <clears throat> 
Popo 47. This is one of the coolest small trailer I have seen. Thanks for sharing. It is pretty nice, I have to tell you. They, they sell a lot of those. They really do. This is on the Harvey home base, James Richardson. It's a beautiful thing, Rusty. Clean, comfortable, and relaxing. Enjoy. Yeah. And the good again, the thing I like about it is I got rid of a, a, a lot of junk. I mean, I'm down to nothing, <clears throat> almost. And that's where I want to be. Bubba Fringman, the water heaters with the igniters aren't that expensive, and you can turn them on from the inside. Yeah, I know. I, I had one. I, in fact, uh, the last RV I had had the automatic, the little switch on the inside. Yeah, it's okay, but no, it doesn't bother me to walk outside and light the. All I do is light it, heat the water for a shower, and then turn it off, and that's it once a day. I don't leave it on. Dorian Christie Classic. Well, this is on the Sunset trailer. Dorian Christie Classic Flashback 50s, 60s, but 21st century. Nice. Thanks for the video. Enjoy your evening, Rusty. I did and I am. Well, will. Sunset Classic. William Francis. Thanks, Rusty. Looks like a well-made trailer. It, it looks good. Yeah, they, they've got a few little things in there that made me uh, think that they did a pretty good job on it better than mine <clears throat> my 16 foot coachman clipper cadet 2018 amy mosley smith <clears throat> bravo rusty what a practical change in joy yeah it is it's, it's it's fine thank you r gray 317 this is on the travel trailer does this unit have a fantastic fan i didn't see one you can put one in though for well, the fan will cost you two thirty, and it'll cost you another hundred to get it installed, or you can do it yourself. I'd have it done if I were you. Rather be fishing, great for the weekend. That's on the 2018 New Camp. Yeah, that'd be great for any time. Actually, that's a good one. <clears throat> Mike Butterfield, 102 degrees Fahrenheit height there tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't make any suggestions, Colonel. Like hanging an outdoor shower off the cover on your patio. To cool off under no sir i will not suggest that well do you have one mike donna mckee so happy for you it looks great the cover and slab will certainly add years of life to arrow will provide good drain off too yeah it, it definitely uh improves the life of a travel trader and there's no doubt in fact in my opinion you could have this thing parked under that cover for 20 years no problem at all in fact i've already pretty much decided that for my future housing it's always just going to be RVs, travel trailers because I can get them cheap and uh, you know and, and that's all I need this is all I need this is all the space I need I don't need any more Roger St. Martin I like it big difference it is a very big difference Sherry Sprinkle hope you'll do a video when you're all moved in and everything is set up I will yeah I'll, I'll do some video sure I don't have that many other video ideas. <laughs> I just do them as I pop into my head, I guess. Pamela Teehee, love the retro look. This is a super cute and this is super cute and perfect for one. Thanks, Rusty. Well, one to live and two to travel. Uh, anyway, I'll do a couple of more and then we'll shut her down. I'll tell you another joke. Little Kittle looks really nice. Congrats and happy for you. Thank you, Little Kittle. This is S. Chandler. Hi, Rusty. It looks very nice. I do think you will need some steps off the patio. I'm not going to walk off the patio. I won't need to. That's a big drop-off if you fell and hurt yourself. <clears throat> Maybe down the road. Put in a small building to hold the stuff you have left. Nope. We're not. We're, in fact, we're probably going to get rid of that and those boxes eventually, too. Uh, Roger St. Martin gave me a thumbs up. and John Dean says, good for you, Rusty. Gregory Atkins, this last one, would have loved to seen the front window open. <clears throat> well, the front window on that RV, the Sunset Classic, does not open. Anyway, from the book that was sent to me, did I write the name in here? Probably didn't. I'm not that thoughtful. Nope, I didn't. But anyway, whoever sent me the book, thank you. At random, we'll pick another page. And, oh, here it is. A gift for you. This comes from Ryan from Ryan, R-Y-A-N. Thank you, Ryan. <clears throat> Why do economists exist? So accountants will have someone to laugh at. 
being an old accountant, I relate to that. The Canadian senior gave the Frenchman a long, hard look. Then he quietly explained, Well, when I came ashore at Juneau Beach on D-Day in 1944 to help liberate this country, I, can't, I couldn't find any Frenchman to show it to. <laughs> a man, his wife, and a good-looking stranger are stranded on a desert island. The wife quickly loses interest in her husband and begins flirting with the good-looking stranger. The three start to build a watchtower. The stranger takes the first watch, while the husband and wife gather driftwood on the sand. The stranger yells, Hey, no sex on the beach. Get back to work. The husband yells, We're not having sex. Later, the stranger yells at them again, and the husband yells back and corrects him. This happens several times during the stranger's shift. Finally, the husband takes his shift in the watchtower. His wife and the good-looking stranger make passionate love on the beach. The husband on watch exclaims, Wow, it really does look like screwing from up here. <laughs> okay, that was corny. But anyway, put that over there. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying enjoy your Wednesday, June the 27th, 2018. I've got a few things to do today, and uh, maybe I can come up with a video. I think I've got one more RV video, and uh, I might do a driving video. Maybe if I can come up with some. But anyway, enjoy your life one day at a time. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. Doesn't cost you a dime. What else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quart, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you're going to be full of water and you won't want to snack so much. Okay. And what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. And that is extremely good for you and me. What else? Stretch, 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 stretch. Walk, 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 walk. You know, keep your body in motion. I'm going to go. After I have my breakfast, I'll do my stretches and take a walk. And then I'll go in and wash my clothes. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your, your head. It's your head, your thoughts. So try to maintain a positive attitude about life because it can get you down if you let it. And uh, But don't. Just take charge of your life. Think positive. And, you know, even, even negative situations can be turned around to where you feel pretty good. You know what I mean? You know, there's going to be ups and downs in life. Everybody knows that. But, uh, you know, just roll with the punch. Jump, you know, back on your feet. What, what was the song? Uh, get back up, dust yourself off, start all over again. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.